How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Mitch and I'm part of the content creation team here at Clean Canvas. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your filters in your Shopify OS 2 store. So Shopify have redone filters um, since updating OS 2. I had a video on this before, but actually they've made some changes to the UI. So I want to make an updated version just so everything is in line going forward. So I'm on my collection page over here right now. And you can see if I open up my filters, I can see the filters I currently have the most commonly one Shopify sort by the out of stock, which is one that Shopify introduced in OS2, along with price, which they introduced in OS2, which is really, really great because you couldn't filter by price before, but now you can. And here we can see product type and we can actually see color here. Um, this is actually pulling from my variants, which is great. So you can now filter by variants um, and I'll show you how that all works. Today I'm demoing this on our latest theme mode that just released uh, as of recording this set in the first week of September. So if you're curious about this and uh, be sure to to check it out on the Shopify theme store if you're looking to update your theme. But in here, if you click on collection pages, you'll see where to enable the filters over here. And on our themes, we have a link here to just go over and quickly customize the filters. But if you don't have our theme, you'll find this underneath navigation. And once you do, you're going to see that you used to be able to filter them all over here before, but Shopify have introduced this new app, Shopify Search and Discovery. It's a really cool app. I suggest checking it out. I'll probably make videos about it in the future, but here is where you're going to find where you can view the filters um, in here you can now see uh, currently the filters that I have I have availability price product type and color so if I switch back here and open up the filters you can see that's how it's lined out here if I wanted to not show any of these filters I would just click on the X and click save and that would not display them anymore or if I want to swap them around you can see here if I grab and pull it up and down I can swap them around in the orders if I want to add new filters I will click on edit filters over here in the top right corner and here you can see also which ones we have enabled and which ones are not enabled now we don't have too many here but here are the default ones here from Shopify so if I wanted to show the, the vendor slash brand I would click that and then the vendor would start displaying the filter page now product options is really really cool this is actually product variants pretty much so here it's showing me all the variants I can detect from all my uh, products in my theme and I can enable the size variant and if I do then it's going to show all the sizes of my products here in the filter bar now I'll actually uh, give you a really good tip which is very important so sometimes it's very not uncommon that you might have a lot of products and sometimes your products might have different named variants that are actually still the same variant so example would be some variants uh, might say color with the U and then it's not uncommon where some people might spell color like this I would highly suggest if you have that case where color is spelled both ways go and change your product variants to be one specific naming convention because if you don't do that and you enable say color here and color with just O uh, O R at the end you're going to show two filters here um, it's not going to combine them, unfortunately. So very good tip there to do that. Same as well. Sometimes people will put in their variant and it'll be fine like this. And then it's not uncommon where you might actually add an extra space by mistake. And you'll see and know that's the case because here it, you'll see size twice. And that means that it, you've added it with a space. So just go and check your variants and delete any that might have an extra space. It's just a little really tidy tool tip that I would definitely say to do to avoid any um, weirdness going on. And um, but yeah, once you enable these and go to your collection page, that will show on all the collections. A really good thing to note as well, filters will only display filters that apply to that collection. So what I mean by that is everything I see here applies to this collection. If I actually swap over to say a different collection, which might have, uh, you know, fewer products, it's going to show me fewer uh, filters. So if I open up here, you can see we have a lot less filters. So let's call this like a smart filter function. It's really good because you don't want to be having people filtering with with stuff that isn't relevant. Now, I'm also going to cover in separate videos a topic that a lot of people might have is how do you create custom filters? I will have a link for when I post that video, comments below, and also maybe a card in the top right corner of this. And then also people ask how to have out of stock be displayed as hidden um, by default. Shopify don't have an option to do this in the editor here. We're hoping that they might add that in the future, but I do have a little bit of a hack that you can use. 
and I'll create a video on that and I'll also link it below. So if you're curious, just check below and those will be there as well. And that pretty much covers it guys. So thanks very much for watching the video. If it helped you, please do like and subscribe to the channel as we'll be releasing more video tutorials and we would release updates for our themes and add new features. This will be a good way for you to know if we release anything new in a theme that you have um, that could be pretty cool and that you really, really like. Let us know what you think um, and be sure to check out Mode if you're curious about getting a new theme or any of our themes, which will also be linked below. But thanks again for watching and I hope you have yourself a great day.